Sealing the concrete with a water-based sealer. Camouflage your concrete! Yeah! It is recommended that you seal your concrete stain surface once you've got done neutralizing and rinsing the residue and allowing it to dry. For the past several decades, solvent-based sealers have been the sealer of choice because they outperformed water-based sealers. But with the new advances in technology, water-based sealers are certainly starting to hold their own. Also, solvent-based sealers tend to be flammable. Well, no, tend to be flammable. They are flammable and they can be hazardous. Also, EPA guidelines and rules and several states across the United States are now starting to outlaw high VOC sealers, which is really rendering solvent-based sealers useless. So, this is the section on sealing with water-based sealers. What you will do is you will pour the sealer into a paint pan. You do not pour the sealer directly onto the concrete. Never do that. Whenever you apply water-based sealer, the idea is to apply it in as thin and as even a coat as you possibly can. So, pour it in the paint pan, dip your roller, squeeze out the excess in the paint pan just like you were going to paint, and then roll on a very thin and very even coat. Water-based sealers, or at least most of them, are a milky white in the jug and then they dry clear. This is good and it's very helpful because it allows you to clearly see where you have sealed. Whenever you do put on a water-based sealer, it will darken the concrete up very, very dark like whenever you apply a solvent-based sealer, but as it dries, it'll dry down to that more of a damp look. So. Don't be surprised whenever the concrete looks a little overly darkened whenever it's first drying. Anyway, you're going to roll on one very thin coat and make sure that it's even. Water-based sealer does not self-level, so you got to try to make sure you don't have any buildup. Allow it to dry. Usually a water-based sealer will dry within just a couple hours, especially in warm weather but if it's humid then it could take a little bit longer if it's cold it could take a little bit longer because it goes on a milky white and dries clear it's going to be really easy to see when it's dry also you can reach down and touch it and make sure it's not sticky once it's dried to the point that it's no longer sticky then you can go ahead and apply your second coat it's recommended that you apply your first coat if at all possible now you can't always do this because of your exit and entry point but if it's at all possible then you need to seal your first coat going one direction and your second coat going the opposite direction for instance your first coat you would seal going north and south and your second coat you would seal going east and west if you can't do this then just try to make sure that your overlap marks and your overlap areas are different from the second coat than they were the first coat but again, if it's all possible, go in different directions on both coats. That way you get more of a good, even coating. You are going to apply two coats of sealer, as mentioned, and you're going to use a quarter inch nap if you're inside on a smooth surface, and you're going to use a 3 8 inch nap if you're outside on a broomed or a rough or porous surface. You do not want to seal in extremely hot weather. You want to seal in the cool part of the day. That way the sealer won't dry out quite as fast and you'll get an overall better sealing job. Also, with most water-based sealers, it needs to dry for about 12 to 24 hours before you get any foot traffic on it or vehicular traffic. About 10 hours before applying a mop on wax. But if you go the 12 to 24 hour rule, then you're going to definitely be okay. Additionally, when using a water-based sealer, you can use an airless sprayer. If you decide to use an airless sprayer, you are already familiar with spraying techniques. Just make sure that you don't get any buildup or any heavy areas. You could also use a pump-up sprayer. The same pump-up sprayer that you use to apply the stain could be washed and cleaned really well and then you could use that to apply but if you do and really even if you use the airless sprayer 
you need to still have a paint roller handy. That paint roller is going to take out any sprayer marks or heavy areas as you go. And again, apply in thin, even coats. So even if you spray it, you're still going to have a paint roller handy to take out any puddles that you might get or any sprayer marks. Pump up sprayers will try to leave sprayer marks whenever you apply sealer. And that concludes sealing with water-based sealer section. Camouflage your concrete. Yeah.